The Arafura and Timor Seas Ecosystem Action Program was launched at the 5th GEF International Waters Conference. The action plan to address threats to fisheries and living marine resources in the Arafura and Timor Seas has attracted 2.65 million US dollars in support from the Global Environment Facility as well as 5.45 million US dollars in co-financing from the Indonesian, Timor-Leste and Australian governments. The forum itself uh, is, a, uh, is a forum uh, that consists of people from the government, uh, in, uh, universities, the NGOs um, that came from these three countries, Indonesia, Australia and Timor-Leste, and we are hoping that uh, through this project, this Arafura and Timor Sea Ecosystem Action Project, we would be able to invite Papua New Guinea. So um, it has not only the biophysical uh, issues that you know, we are talking here, but also the human component. And we, we are now coming together as a collective group of nations uh, wanting to uh, make our Arafura and Timor Sea a, a sustainable place. All of the activities will be funded by uh, Jeff as a core funding uh, agency, but also through co-financing from the governments. And I'm pleased to say here that all three countries are contributing um, to uh, co-financing uh, this, this project. It is something that you know uh, maybe we should uh, highlight that uh, because uh, now we can see the commitments from each of the governments as well as the NGOs the in, uh, universities and so on. The ATC project is a uh, foundational capacity building project. So the first steps are to develop a transboundary diagnostic analysis, uh, to compile, compile the best science available and reach agreement on the key threats and issues facing the sea. And, and based on that, the countries will also be able to agree on a strategic action program to take action in, in a subsequent phase uh, and implement uh, some activities together with the communities in the coastal areas. Since this area is overlapping with the a wider or larger initiative called the Coral Triangle Initiative, and uh, the Coral Triangle Initiative of course um, involves um, more than just uh, this, these countries, um, they are Philippine, Malaysia, Solomon Islands, you know, uh, on top of Indonesia, Timor-Leste. So we are talking about an area which is unique in, um, in the high biodiversity that it, it, it has, uh, the highest in the, in the world, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, but along with that, you have the problems, how to keep them and also to keep the resources in terms of fisheries uh, sustained. The main environmental problems facing the Arafura Timor Seas are overfishing uh, and uh, illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. Uh, there are also problems of pollution and then impacts of climate change, uh, which uh, we expect is going to have serious impact on the coral reefs uh, because of um, increase in ocean temp temperatures and ocean acidification. This uh, three countries can work together. You know, this is the message that I, I want to uh, reflect to, 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 to the other uh, people. That uh, yes, indeed, you know, we can we can work together as a collective nations. And um, um, this is something that the area that um, I think we can show um, a, a strong partnership, not only through the government but also to the non-government and other. Um, uh, members of the civil societies. For this phase, the GF funding um, is for four years and it will mainly support, uh, as I said, the development of a TDA and a SAP. But we will also initiate some uh, demonstration activities at pilot size. We'll look at communities in uh, the participating countries. Mm -hmm.